Good afternoon, folks. Another day above ground, like I always say, any day above ground is what? A beautiful day. I'm back here in Brooklyn. Remember, folks, give thanks and praises to your creator, whoever you might conceive the creator to be at all times. Now, for me, my friend at work was telling me that he went to the dog pound to get himself a dog for he and his little wife and his little kids. So he said to me, he said, bro, now I was there trying to get this dog. I full of all the paperwork, all the necessary stuff need to get this dog. And he said, people be coming in and going with dogs and he's still there waiting. So he said, oh, seven, eight people coming to get their dogs. And he is still there waiting. He's trying to figure out what's going on. So he asked, he said, no, sir, it's okay, hang on, hang on, you're going to soon get your dog, hang on, hang on. So he hang on, he'll wait. He can't take it anymore, so he asked again. So Liz said, can you come into the back? I want to ask you a couple of questions. So, he went to the back, and there is three cops in a room with him in the back, asking him, is this your real name? And then that's... Hernandez, I won't call her first name, but they asked him, is this your real name? He said, yeah. He said, well, there's some person with your same name and the same zip code that is you dogs for fighting. He said, but that's not me. He said, are you sure? Because they have the same name as yours. And he said, the same exact name, the same zip code. So fellas, yeah, yeah. Peace up, brother. All the time. All the time. And the same name. So he says, that's not me because I don't fight dogs. So they crashed in him and crashed in him. And then he said, well, can you get my wife? Because she's, she's maybe out there being frustrated trying to figure out what's going on. The wife came and the wife says, what happened? The cops didn't call on my phone. They called your father. They call your mother, they call your uncle, they ask to verify that you is who you are. He said, yeah, because they're saying that I fight dogs. And he said, the wife said, you guys crazy, we don't fight no dogs. We just need a dog for our little son to play with. So then the cops realized it was a mistake, so they apologized and they let him go. So then when he was leaving, the lady says, hey, do you still want a dog? He said, fuck no. I don't need a fucking dog from you guys. You came through this bullshit for a dog. No, it's not me. I know you can ask me if you want a fucking dog. I don't want a goddamn dog. Say, freak this shit. So you walk out. So I say this, that, to say this. Now they're going to chastise him about fighting dogs. Or about dog fighting. But they can go to Africa and shoot tigers, shoot lions, shoot zebras and post them on Facebook like a trophy. Nothing gonna happen. You know what I mean? They can go to Africa and shoot all sorts of animals and post them on Facebook like, hey, look at me. I guess kill this zebra. That's what we call double standards. You know what I'm saying? That's the bullshit that sometimes, yes, doesn't make sense to me. But then again, <laughs> I can say, hey, <laughs> what it is, it is what it is, man. So, on that note, both folks, I'll say, hey, that's about it, man. So, I guess I had to drop that on here, um, because it just hit my brain a couple of hours ago. So, until then, like I always say, folks, peace out. One love. <laughs>